Welcome to Harvey Dent's Fact Finder. I know this building looks like it's only four stories above the ground, right? I know for a fact this building is seven stories. How do I know for a fact? Because I used to work in this building. Now there was a time when I was uh, hard up for a job and uh, had a contract come, you know, be thrown at me by a headhunter or recruiter. Uh, asked if I had a problem working for an adult entertainment company. At the time, hell no, I needed a job. So I was introduced to kink.com and the world of BDSM. This is Eater Ackworth. Uh, he was the owner of kink.com, a British guy. Definitely had to have been a Freemason because he got this building in the city of San Francisco. As long as he kept it open for uh, occasional tours, which were held by the kink employees, um, I I had free access to this entire building, and I know that there are three levels, three complete entire levels below the entry level. Which the entry level is not street level. You have to climb a flight of stairs, which takes you up like 12 feet just to get into the entrance door, and then from there, that level. There it goes. It descends three floors down, where that's where they had all their studios at, and then a sub basement. So 14.5 million and gets you know uh, money as being a charter historic site in San Francisco and a state site. Um, ran a porn operation with the studios downstairs while uh, improving the office space upstairs to eventually sell it for 65 million dollars quadrupled his money now that's an investment now what i have a problem with in this building it says it was constructed in 1912 and 1914. well how come there is not one picture of construction from 1912 or beyond considering they had to dig down 30 to 40 feet in order to get that basement constructed where are the construction photos I would like to know what kind of digging equipment these people were using in the you know early 1900s or even whose bright idea it was to put the entry doorway 10 11 feet above street level this building was not built in 1910. I'm sorry, there is no way in hell it was, because not only is there not one picture showing proof of it, there's no cornerstone, there's no plans, there's no drawings. It was just built, and there it was. It just appeared right there on the corner of 14th and Mission in San Francisco, a big brick castle. Let's take a look at some more historic photos of San Francisco, 1850. Look at all those empty ass streets. Who were all these buildings built for if the streets were so damn empty? Not one soul in this bustling town of San Francisco, the gold mine capital. Not one soul. Wow, look at this amazing architecture for 1850. Empty streets of San Francisco. Where are all the people? Despite its appearance, 1850 must have been an exciting time in the San Francisco area because they were privy to electricity before the rest of the world. Since the world's first public electricity supply wasn't available until 1881 in the UK, what do you propose this thing is? And yes, you are correct. There were actually men on the street in this picture. Look at them. Don't they look spiffy? There's another group of men that don't look too spiffy and don't look too happy or welcoming. This looks like some kind of a standoff or a, a gang. Probably uh, we're told that they had to pay taxes or something and they're like, Psh, to who? Just another tour down the streets of San Francisco. Look at all the beautiful buildings and architecture that they just threw up here in less than 15 years. Look at that, wow. Uh, is that some Electrotech on top? Uh, is that one of those things that they collect the uh, electricity from the atmosphere and uh, use? And here we go, a mud flood church. Notice how the back is 
higher than the front. Basically, they just made the second or maybe even the third floor the entrance. You know, it's amazing how quickly they got these buildings built out here for a population that seemed to come a whole lot later. And uh, I mean, the basement work they did, I mean, they built basements that were two stories beneath the ground. I'm sure that this basement was a full-size basement is what they would like you to think the old west looks like this may have actually been a strip of buildings that they constructed and is an example of the of the stuff that they just slapped together is that an antenna up there or do they have radio back then i'm beginning to believe that every picture that depicts old san francisco with these boats in the harbor are they're pieces of art they're all painted uh, this is not a photograph i don't think i've seen one actual photograph with, pic with uh, boats in the harbor it's always been some created image here we go again 1850 another overly built city for a non-existent population where are the people there's no one even going up that hill you see the hill it's empty Try and go down one more street and see if we can find anybody that we can ask, uh, you know, for some directions on how to get around this damn place. Anyone on the street? Anyone? Uh, yeah, I don't see anyone. Whole lot of muddy streets, though. Mm. Oh, great! Look, I found someone. No, nah, man, I can't spare any damn change. Jeez, San Francisco. Probably the same. 1850s as it is right now this guy is over here shooting up check him out he's shooting up he got a spoon and a lighter and getting back to the original point of my making this video this building is seven stories four above ground three underground they claim it was built between 1912 and 1914 yet there is not one picture of this building under construction Just like every other old intact structure it gets sold to or under the control of a friend of the government where it is held and appreciates to astronomical value and then it is turned around and sold just like the reclaimed land well if you like what I'm doing here why don't you go ahead and click that like button you know you want to like it Subscribe, share, comment, dislike, do something so your brothers and sisters know that you're alive out there. Like recalling the time that you worked in the porn industry. Until you find your truth, keep looking.